How's it going, guys? So, this is a little bit of an impromptu video, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. I did do my makeup, so I suppose it's a special occasion. But um, let me get the self-promo stuff out of the way. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I did my makeup for this video over on TikTok, so if you're interested in that, I have a link down below. And what are we talking about today? Today I wanted to talk about how my journey on YouTube and TikTok really led me to a place of self-love and self-acceptance. Yeah, I think the assumption, especially when creators are on platforms like YouTube and TikTok, I think the assumption is that all of us are confident people who like hearing ourselves talk and are comfortable in front of a camera at least. But really, at least for me, the opposite is true. I think me from even a couple years ago, if she knew what I was doing now, would just die. To know that I was in front of a camera trying to reach any sort of an audience is just so far from where I used to be. I was never that person. And you might ask, you know, what changed? I at least hope all creators on this platform have in common is a drive to create. And for me, at least at a certain point, that drive to create surpassed my initial fears of what if I make a fool of myself. I said, I want to make something that hopefully resonates with someone. And that drive, that desire, led me to these platforms. That's not to say that this whole process didn't come with its own set of hiccups. When I first started, especially on TikTok, which is kind of, I guess, where my content originated, I hated editing my videos. I hated looking at myself. I hated the sound of my own voice. I just knew that I had ideas that I wanted to share. and. I had to somehow find a way to get past that. Uh, let me tell you this, loving yourself, especially when it's something that you haven't always practiced, loving yourself is hard and it takes time. And you really have to learn to sit with your demons, so to speak, and work out, you know, how can I be more comfortable in myself? One of the biggest things that I've learned in that process of kind of sitting with my demons is forgiving myself. If I have some sort of, you know, negative self-talk and I beat myself up, I have to say, like, it's just a mistake, you know, I'll do better next time and this was a learning experience. Or if I don't like the way I sound, I just kind of let the thought pass, even if it comes back again and again, as intrusive thoughts tend to do. I just acknowledge it, say, okay, I'm feeling this way, but it's not reality. And who I am is a person who's worth being listened to and worth being seen. And I had to learn that that in and of itself is not narcissistic. It's not narcissistic to feel you have a message to share. It's, I think, a part of what makes us a human community. Especially for those of us that struggle with self-confidence, there's probably always going to be that little voice of doubt in our heads. At least mine still hasn't gone away after... Oh, how long have I been making content for? Let's see. But regardless how long it's been, um, I still have that, that voice in my head after at least a year, you know? And I think only with time and practice will it, will it eventually, you know, decrease in frequency and decrease in volume. But it's something that you just have to tell yourself isn't reality. It's a cognitive distortion. It's, it's, your, it's your inner demons trying to get the better of you, and you're better than that. We all are. Quick side story. When I was younger, still a very, very shy girl, I had an ambition to be an actress for about, I don't know, maybe two months, and I signed up for acting courses. My family signed me up for acting courses, and these weren't cheap, um, but around class number like three out of I out of oh, it had to be at least a few month long course um class number three I realized ah, I don't know if I want to do this because it involved me being in front of a camera and I was so so incredibly shy and so incredibly reserved that I did not feel comfortable doing that and I wanted to get out of there and I mean at the time thankfully my family was understanding but you know I was young and I clung so desperately to my comfort zone that I was so afraid to let go. And even and even now I struggle with going outside my comfort zone when it comes to certain things. But 
if I could go back and talk to younger Julie, I think I would tell her, like, no, explore outside your comfort zone. Explore this course. I mean, you know, but I, sorry, I'm really bright right now. Oh, my God. Let me see if it'll tone down a little bit. Here we go. Um, But I think a lot of my issues with self-confidence and self-worth and all that and my issues surrounding uploading videos and editing videos and hearing my own voice, all that kind of paled in comparison to the value I was getting from my work, the peace of mind I was getting from my work, the fun that I was having uploading videos, and still am having fun uploading videos. It's just all of that stuff is so minimal compared to the creative rush I get just from putting these things together and knowing that maybe someone will resonate with them. In finding that joy in content creation, I'm learning more about my purpose and learning to love myself for who I am. And that's not a selfish thing to do. Loving yourself is necessary because like I've said in previous videos, at the end of the day, all we have is ourselves, you know, and at a certain point, you need to be comfortable sitting with your thoughts and you need to be comfortable hanging out with yourself at times. And really, my hope at the end of the day is that you all can find your purpose and what makes your soul shine. You know, oh my god, that sounded so corny. I'm, maybe I'll edit that out. You know what? I decided to keep it in because it's true. So if I have to end the video on any note, I guess it'll be this. Um, find that w which makes your soul shine and find a way to make it work in your life. Because, I mean, this is all going to sound a little bit cliche, but life is really too short not to find something that brings you joy and brings you happiness and fulfillment. And I hope I'm not the first person to tell you that, but if I am, please listen to me. I mean, I'm 25 after all. I'm basically ancient. Anyway, I hope what I said resonated today for at least some of you. And if it did, be sure to leave a like. Again, subscribe if you want. I do plan on posting here regularly, and I already have a few more videos you might like. Maybe this one, or this one, or this one. I don't know how to add links yet, um, or cards, but overall, let me just say I hope you have a good day. Bye, YouTube.